Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time for our final segment. We're joined by tennis coach Mark Dorn. And coach, uh, welcome to the show. I thank you for having me. Certainly uh, your team uh, had a successful weekend as you took part in the GLIAC tournament uh, over in Midland and a nice run to the championship match for the fifth straight year. Yeah, it was, it was a great weekend for us. Uh, we really uh, peaked at the right time during the season and had a lot of fun. I mean, it was, uh, it was a result. I mean, obviously winning the whole championship would have been great, but uh, we, we, we made some goals and, and, and we, we, we met them this weekend and it, it turned out really well. For someone that's not been there before, maybe uh, talk about the environment, obviously playing uh, inside at the, the Midland Community Tennis Center and uh, a great environment. Yeah, it's, it's so cool to be there. They have 16 indoor courts, so there's three matches going on at the same time. Everyone's near each other, lots of fans. You know, it, a lot of people think of tennis being a little bit of a quiet sport, but it, it was loud in there. And uh, it, it's, it's neat to just have so much high quality tennis. And, you know, the energy was, was really good from all the teams. Uh, certainly in the first round, uh, you drew Ashland in uh, quarterfinal round action in uh, a tight match uh, that really uh, could have won either way. Yeah, I, well, that's why we knew we couldn't look past Ashland. Uh, we knew during the regular season our, our score may have looked like we took you know, a pretty easy match, but it wasn't. And, and then when they showed up this weekend, wow, were they were prepared. Uh, they came out early and, and took us in doubles. And uh, we weren't used to that. We've been pretty strong in doubles this year, and we had a tough weekend in doubles this weekend. But... Uh, but then the singles, we really stepped up. Uh, we really showed a lot of uh, a lot of leadership from our from our uh, uh, upperclassmen to really kind of, you know, relax everyone down after the doubles and, and go out. And then, you know, it came down to the last two points of the match. There, there's it's physically impossible to be any closer than it was, and uh, I think that that really helped us for the rest of the weekend. Is that that close match? You came back uh, in the semifinal round on Saturday and took on Grand Valley State, a, a team that had beat you earlier in the year, but uh, were able to get a big four to two win. Yeah, that felt great. It, it really did. Obviously, to beat a rival is always important. But after we lost to them during the regular season, we, we knew. I mean, every day we talked about it. We talked about the things that happened in that match and things that we could do in the future for other matches. And then, you know, hopefully we'd get, you know, our revenge one day with them. And uh, so we went into it really confident and uh, really excited. Uh, and again, we, we lost the doubles point, uh, which we weren't expecting. But then it was great because uh, we had lost our bottom three positions when we played them at home. And then this time we beat them in those bottom three positions. And it really made the rest of the team really feel like, you know, wow, everybody has been working their butts off and everybody is ready to play this match. Certainly, uh, your team, you mentioned uh, both uh, the first two matches uh, lost the doubles point, but really speaks maybe to the character of your kids being able to put that behind them as you move into singles play. Yeah, I mean, when we, we huddle between singles and doubles and, you know, I was really worried that, you know, the energy would be low and, and they would look defeated, but they were more focused than ever. Uh, they kind of took the challenge on and uh, really stepped up. I mean, the energy was really great. Uh, against Grand Valley, uh, we had five courts right next to each other, and then we had a sixth court that was on another side that you couldn't see. And when that sixth player won his match, he came over and yelled really loud, match on six, which is a big thing we yell when we win a match. And you could just see every one of our other five players were playing, just get excited and really buckle down and play even harder. Obviously, uh, how much uh, maybe uh, momentum, uh, confidence that, that give your team going into the championship match against a very good Wayne State team? Yeah, we felt like it, it was meant to be. We, we thought, you know, those first two rounds being tested and, and, and really having to fight gave us a ton of confidence going to the finals, and I think that's why we played so well. Uh, Wayne State came and played us, you know, about three weeks ago, and it unfortunately wasn't as close as we thought it should be, but we knew we could be closer. And so when we went into this match, you know, I, we really thought that we could – win it all and and we were a few points from winning it all we you know it, we've lost four two but we had one match still on that we were we were winning that match so there's another one that we could have won and it came down to a really close match at one singles and and uh, I really thought that uh, it, it was you know as good as we could expect out of our play and the results were just a little you know out of reach but I think we played them again tomorrow we could beat them tomorrow so it's very very good for our team when you look at some of the scores uh, from these matches, a uh, point here, point there, uh, really uh, makes every every point a, a very a big one in terms of the, the total for each team. It really is. I mean, and the momentum can be felt from court to court. You might be five courts away from, from somebody, but you can hear one point or, you know, that's happening there, another point here. And, yeah, a couple unlucky bounces, uh, our two singles, Notre Dame. You know, t the player is playing is just one of those days where the ball is touching every line or hitting the net and rolling over. And, you know, just a couple unfortunate, unlucky bounces, but a couple of those go just a little different way, and all of a sudden, you know, we're the ones running the court at the end. But it's it's still, uh, you know, really, you know, was a successful trip for us. 
Obviously, uh, the all-conference awards announced in conjunction with the GLIAC tournament as well, and nice to see uh, four of your guys get uh, all-conference recognition. Yeah, it was great. We were the only team to have three players make first team. Uh, Stu Sell was a senior, uh, Nura Dimas won a senior, and then Pablo Baroja, uh, a junior. And, and, you know, I was really excited for the three of them to all be named first team. And then Matisse Guerrero was our honorable mention. And, you know, it's just exciting for them to... Uh, you know, see each other be there, and for some of my upper, underclassmen to see the upperclassmen really lead, and and it really you know puts a little fire in their belly to hopefully one day be standing up there with that award too. Obviously, your team uh, hopes to get an invitation and expects to get one into the NCAA championships uh, coming up here in May, and you'll have to wait a little bit here until yeah. till May seventh for the official announcement. Yeah, we're we're excited. We're going to practice hard this week. Uh, we feel that we we you know we'll get the invite to the national championships, but we'll find out you know next Tuesday. Uh, we get to watch the selection show, which is always exciting to see where we, where we end up. Uh, but this weekend really, we felt, uh, helped us increase our seating, which gives us a you know, better opportunity to that first round you know, matchup. And uh, I, I think it's, a, it's an exciting time for our team. You know, when, when we beat Grand Valley, we knew that we secured a, a spot. And now it's just a, you know, a waiting game, but it, it's, it's an exciting time. Obviously a competitive region, the Midwest region, but uh, you've seen uh, a lot of these teams here throughout the year and uh, certainly some confidence maybe going in against these opponents. Yeah, the Midwest region is extremely strong. And what's even more exciting is the fact that most likely four GLIAC teams are going to make out of eight, four out of eight from, you know, five different conferences. So I think that just shows, you know, what the stiff competition we face all season is and how strong our conference is. But then also, the, the, you know, we're going to get a chance to go on and prove that the GLIAC is, is one of the strongest conferences in the country. And, and uh, next week will be, you know, a fun time. Obviously, you mentioned earlier uh, your team picking at the right time and a lot of work, uh, dedication kind of went into that to uh, be playing your best tennis here at this time of the year. Yeah, I, I'm very proud of the guys. I mean, it's a, it's a tough time of the year to focus on peaking when, you know, you have exams. It's coming up at the end of the year. A lot of my players have been international students, so, you know, they start to get a little excited about, you know, going home and seeing their family that they haven't seen in eight months. So, you know, it's a testament to their focus and, and determination to, you know, really stay focused for the ability to peak now. Uh, so I'm, I'm really proud of them. It, it, it's, it's, it's fun. Well, Coach, thanks for being with us, and uh, best of luck to your team uh, as you hope to get into the NCAA All championships. Right, thanks, I appreciate it. That'll do it for Ferris Sports Update for the 2018-2019 season. Reminder, you can follow all the action online at ferrisstatebulldogs.com. Stay tuned for more coverage next fall.